Hey, what's up guys? This is Polly. For today, I am going to build a PC. Here is the story. We're doing a little story time. Uh, my friend is asking me to build a PC. And it, all, it must also include the monitor, the, the keyboard and mouse. And it should have an optical drive and wireless options like Bluetooth. So, a quick rundown on specs. So, for the case, I'm going to use a Thermaltake Versa H15. It's a micro ATX case that supports at least micro ATX boards. Yeah, it's a micro ATX case. Um, for the graphics card, I chose um, GTX 1650 Ventus XS. Then for the motherboard, for the motherboard, I got a B450M DS3H from Gigabyte. Then for the processor, I am going to use a Ryzen 3500. For the RAM, I will be using T-Force Dart Alpha, Z Alpha. It's a 3200 MHz. Um, so this is 8 GB per stick, so you got 16 GB. For the power supply, I will be using the Dart Flash um, GP550. It's a 80 plus bronze. For the storage, I will be using a Tor. Tor. <laughs> For the storage, I will be using an SSD. That is a 240GB alongside with a 1TB hard disk drive. Then, what else? Um, so, the fun... Uh, no. So, the PC case doesn't really have a lot of fans. Airflow. But it has a lot of options for airflow. So, I got four of these. This is an ID cooling... What's the short name for this? Okay. This is... <laughs> this is... An ID cooling XF12 025 SD. Um, it's a 120 millimeters non RGB fans. So we got four of those. Then um, lots of additional parts. <laughs> I got. I haven't opened this yet, but this is a optical drive. My friend of mine specifically asked for those, so I'm including it in the build. Um, we got a a dual band Wi-Fi plus Bluetooth adapter. Then this small one. Then I also got LED strip lights because we can't you can't fully build a PC without lights. I mean come on, this is 2020. Then what else? Um I also got a wireless mouse and keyboard combo. Yeah, we do. And an MSI. Ugh, it's heavy. <laughs> MSI 21 inch Pro MP221 monitor. First things first, I will be attaching the CPU, the CPU cooler, and the RAM onto the motherboard before we attach the motherboard into the PC case. So let's go. This is a really nice looking RAM. It's just, I think it's taller than my other RAMs. But I think it's great for the, I, I'm, I'm actually going to, for the black and white team. That's why I don't have a lot of LED RGB fans. RGB, yeah. So I don't have a lot of RGB fans, but I will make it up by having an LED street light. And I will attach it, I will attach it later.
I've already opened this a while ago to check if uh, the case looks okay. It's fine. The case is fine. So I can't get. I think you need to open the side. I'm really sorry about that one. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Yeah, so this is a micro ATX case. And um, it's quite small, really. Um, I expect it to be much bigger. But anyway, well, hey, it's a compact case, so I don't really. I can't complain. The one thing I like about this case is that it has a mesh panel at the front. It, yeah, like that, that one. And um, it's actually not a tempered glass, it's an acrylic glass. Yeah, so we are going to reorganize the cables first. Uh, the front panel connectors, that cable first, before we um, attach the motherboard. Also, I, I think I may have to um, adjust the... See? That's a nice, good, nice good-looking acrylic. Then, um... It doesn't even have the standoffs yet, so we're going to have to attach that. Here is the um, everything <laughs> for the case. Uh, it's got the screws, um, HDD brackets, zip ties, an extra PCIe cover. Yeah, the manual, if we are ever going to need this. So I mentioned earlier that we are having an optical drive, so here is where you are going to um use the optical drive so you don't so you just have to push this i guess i'm not sure if we have to add the fans now because um i think we need to prioritize the standoffs first before we could add the fans anyway there is a support for two 240 million what for two 120 millimeters fans i think you can also add the radiator in case you want to do an AIO cooling or custom water loop you will have the option for that also you have a lot of screw holes in that side so a bunch of options for custom water loop for now we are going to attach the uh, standoffs then the motherboard so let's do it I am trying to relocate the wires you can see it because it really does not have a lot of clearance but if you see here, there is a bit of appearance which give us the opportunity to retain where the front panels are. It's going to be routed. If so, I'm really suck at explaining things. Huh? Um, so, I will relocate the wires um, from the front to all over the way to the back, um, going out in that hole and onto the motherboard. So. Um, later, I will attach the motherboard, but for now, we will like put this in this side. Then this is this is where the motherboard is going to be. Um, it should work out, all right. Since we don't have a lot of clearance for our optical drive, I think we have to attach the motherboard first to see if it will going to bump into the back of the optical drive. I've got a little bit of a problem, so I'm going to attach full micro ATX board and if we add if we add an optical drive it will hit the RAM sticks. So <laughs> I'm not sure what to do about this one, but I'll check first if we can do something about it. Because if not, we either have to change the PC case or change the motherboard. Um yeah. I didn't check the uh, specifications, which is my bad, <laughs> before I purchased the PC case. Oh boy, I feel good. <laughs> Wait, let me just pull this thing down. Uh, yeah, so where are we? Okay, um, we have enough clearance. Yay! So we have enough clearance for the optical drive and the motherboard. It is just... Just a tiny, tiny, weeny gap space in that part, but yeah, it's better than than not having a space. So yay! Let's proceed. 
for now I will be removing this fan because I am attaching for no two 120 millimeter fans on the top and two 120 millimeters at the front. So adding this and an, an as an exhaust will cause the airflow to kind of like not normalize. Then it might um, draw air to the places where it shouldn't be. Like for example, it might draw the air from the PCIe at the back or this part, this open part, which will introduce a lot of what they call this dust inside the system and we don't want that. So I'll check if we still need this extra fan, but for the meantime, I'll remove it. The package of an ID cooling fan contains well the fans and the screws and also interestingly you have rubber anti-vibration this is a anti-vibration rubber pad so um, your PC won't vib vibrate if you like start using it <laughs> this is a surprise so <laughs> you can put the fan inside without removing the optical bracket because uh, yeah there's a screw and you don't have much clearance at the top so we're gonna leave that be we're just going to attach one at the top and one at the back me removing the fans earlier was just pointless <laughs> but anyway i'm just going to use all the id cooling fans instead yeah, um, rather than using the stock cooler because it's, it's slow anyway so i think i may have to install the power supply first before anything else because there's like a little opening at the uh, top left of the PC case I think that's where you're supposed to push through pass through the, the CPU pin so like yeah so let's see wow you've got um, the power supply that is close to um what do you call this like an ice candy but it's just air <laughs> I don't know what we call this, but it's like bubble wrap, but it's not circle. It's like the awesome, the awesome brother of bubble wraps. It looks great, really. Okay, uh, yeah, the, the the cord looks okay. They're all black, um, very color neutral, um, unlike the traditional ketchup and mustard wires. So which is nice. Um, fail the the orange there. Oh, oh no. Uh, yeah. I don't know what to say. Uh, mixed emotions. <laughs> well, let's see now if we can um, we can use that tiny little hole in there to pass on the CPU pin. So I've installed that. I've I've attached the motherboard again, but this time with the CPU pin. Um, inside the small teeny tiny opening so yeah let's proceed now with the uh, I'm, I'm just going to reattach the CPU pan so we already installed the front fans uh, as well as the back fans yeah. the back fan and the top fan I am now going to attach the front panel connector like I was supposed to like 20 minutes ago which I didn't do because I got too excited with the fans <laughs> I'm gonna do it now just a quick um, just a quick update of what's going on. I've attached most of the parts, including the hard disk drive and the SSD. So the only leg, the only thing that is left to do now is to attach the graphics card and to attach the optical drive. We can't attach an additional fan in here because it will just going to hit the optical drive, and we don't want that. Uh, it's not giving. It, it is not going to really give a lot of. Um, airflow. I'm also doing cable management right now, so we're almost there. So, wait, wait, focus, focus. Um, so <laughs> we've already attached the optical drive. We're done. We're done putting the optical drive into the 5.25 bay but you also need the wires the same as when you are installing the hard disk drive so i bought an extra SATA cable because the motherboard only has two 
and both are already in use. The other one is in the SSD and the other one in the hard disk drive. Hey, what's up guys? So for the last piece, uh, it's already almost night in here. I think it's like 5.30. So it's dark. Yeah. Well, anyway, I'm gonna switch my camera. I'm, no, I'm gonna flip my camera. Okay, so for the final piece, um, we only have the graphics card left to install. It's a weird thing to have a green accent to a brand that always promotes black and red. Well, anyway, it's on there. It's a, yeah, it's a, it doesn't have a backplate. I'm going to install it now to our PC case. Um, by the way, can you see the... I'm, I'm gonna turn on the lights. Wait for it. Yeah, there you go. So, I've already kind of cable management-ish the back. Um, it's not final yet. So, yeah. Also, here is the front with the um, optical drive installed. Yay! Okay. It's kind of good now. <laughs> We've attached everything. Um, yeah. Oh no, wait, no. I forgot to, yeah. I forgot to install the LED strip lights. Um, so yeah, for real this time, uh, I'm done with the PC. Uh, I'm just going to flip the screen. There you go. Um, I've already installed the RGB lights. So I will test that out later. So let's boot it up and see if it works. So I'm finally done updating Windows and installing the applications that my friend needs. Um, I will present to you now guys my PC build. Not my PC build, but the PC that I've built. Thanks for watching guys. If you like my videos, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.